Here we are. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Jovem Flint going to be starting on the defense here. Now, Consulate, I mean, we really don't see this one too often from U of M Flint, so it's going to be, I, you know, who knows where these setups are going to come from. The solo queue brain, um, perhaps, um, I'm sure U of M Flint, of course, has had some games where they've played Consulate, but uh, not having a actual site setup that's completely dedicated um, does kind of leave you open to a lot of um just very rushy strategies and maybe highland will try and pull some of those out but uh we'll see we'll see how sophisticated uh highland can get here as uh they begin to exit this prep phase and uh highland starts punching in Accenture going to be taking this buck here. As you have him, Flint just waits for the push. That little bit on the roam. And of course, she left me. Out here waiting for the drones, completely undetectable. Sato clearing these corners. He's the open window. I think here's the unpinning of the grenade. Never mind, that was actually the droning from an enemy outside window there. Oh, she left me just catching Sonic Iron there. Sato is going to take some damage. I believe that's uh, Zenture moving over here on this entrance. Does see slightly she left me getting a few shots in. She left me doesn't fall there. Just an angle where she left me actually probably just couldn't see him whatsoever. A little bit of damage from Highland, but not able to completely uh, equalize. No refrags from Highland just yet. Playing very slowly. 25 seconds on the clock. Sato gets another kill. You have him Flint in a really good position here. Ryda with another kill. Sato doubling up. Venture pushing in, Zat falls. And Ryda with the final kill there. Novum Flint almost, almost flawless round here. Really nice defense, and I mean, Highland not even able to get. Onto objective. Uh, really just a no trouble defense from U of M Flint. Need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. And we're down to the garage. Garage slash basement defense here. Garage door is big. Big angle there for the enemy team. Looking to be a possible bandit trick um, to, to stall the push here. Uh, Stonic Iron is going to switch over to Thermite to look for that angle. But of course, with that 
Thatcher ban from Highland uh, actually working against them a little bit here uh, due to their ability to not really counterplay that bandit tricking here. So you will see Highland maybe trying to take an alternate route. Venture with the Osa though. Yeah, you have him Flint. Really trying to play for this. Oh, Ryda. Missing the Nitro Cell throw there. Unfortunately, Highland just gets to destroy that utility. Sado and she left me just keeping a very hard angle here. Hoping to catch someone out. Sado still has a nitro cell. U of M Flint could easily. Oh, here it comes. And the. Oh, the nitro catching that thermite. And that's going to be devastating for Highland. Unable to pierce in. They're going to have to find a different route. Barhastra on that second floor here. We're going to see uh, a little bit of movement. Actually, first floor gets caught right from behind. Ryda. With the clear on that first floor, down to Chopped Up Cookie and Zencher. Just outside, just waiting for U of M Flint to overextend here. 60 seconds nearing on the clock. And U of M Flint is sitting pretty. He left me continuing with those Azamis just in case there's a very close engagement there. Zat, however, already pushing one of the entry points. Enemy Highland player tries to pre-fire him. Zat just stands idly by, waits for him to walk by. That's the shot in the back. You have him Flint with a flawless round for round two. We open round three. You'll then Flint very dominant here. Two rounds passing. Zencher with the only kill on Highland here. Bomb located by attackers. You're going to see the the frost here from Zat. Actually, a lot of traps. Sado, of course, with that cap can. Uh, big, big run out angle here. Ryda opening that door. He left me ready for it. Oh, she left me just... Narrowly avoiding death there. Jovan Flint getting a little cocky here. We can see them uh, really just playing this one super confidently, but a little too confident at times. You left me. Uh, I mean, Jovan Flint hasn't faced any consequences for their actions yet, so maybe it's not too confident until it does bite them back in the face here, but we'll see about that if that does happen that is going to hear the drones from highland dudes cut up cookie up Reloading. down to about 30 health 25 ish as you have flint Whoa, holds very steady here
hit it with the shots on that drone. Continuing to hold B site. Yeah, U of M Flint really not too worried about breaking these windows open. I mean, had this been uh, their previous match, uh, I would have never seen something like that. Especially on a map like Consulate, heart rate is always high when you're attacking and you see those windows open. But Highland not really positioned for that, really trying to push into B site. About 40 seconds on the clock. Zencher. Attempting to push in to B site here. He left me taking a lot of damage here, but Sato pushing in. Zat also getting a kill. Dr. Cookie gets a kill on Zat. Arhasra taking Balmy out, but Sato holding strong. 3v2. Seven seconds on the clock. These trades come out, but Island with no time at all. The diffuser down and no time on the clock. The glass, okay, glass from Stonic Iron, very interesting. Um, yeah, U of M Flint has a lot of experience here. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Island in an interesting position. Um, you can tell these players maybe not the most experienced, but they do know how to take some of those trades. Weren't able to spin it in a good direction, but. Uh, yeah, pushing straight through that same doorway was a choice, but of course, uh, when time just ran low, Highland had no other choice. Waiting to see if Highland can give us a little bit more on those insertions here. Because U of M Flint just really picking them off. Got the cookie already taking damage here. Yeah, that was uh, that was that just throwing a few choice shots at Cookie there. Do you see the grapple come out? Chopped up Cookie, continuing to look at that same wall there. Do you see the lion challenging Sato? Ooh, cut up cookie with a pick there. Rida with the run out double kill. That's tough. Where was the Claymore? That's unfortunate. What a run out from Ryda. Reading them like a book there. Sato, unfortunately, though, does go down. 3v3. Could have been a 5v3 if we didn't see the run out here. Fuse charges come out. Balmy ready for him on Spiral Staircase here. The Nitro Cell coming out. 
and balmy just moving up. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Island picking up that diffuser, probably in that same spot there. Oh, Ryda. Three kills. And ball me with the finish. My goodness. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. You want Flint reinforcing here? Taking this basement here once again as we get even closer to the half. You have Flint dangerously close to match point, only two rounds away. The feeling we're going to see. A complete walkout from one of these one of these players on U of M Flint here. Ooh, the fuse charge is coming out. She left me taking a lot of damage there. About 50%. He left me very, very nice on this angle here. That with the lesion. Going to be moving right back upstairs. Carefully watching reception. Thermite coming out. He left me with the impact, turning back to the actual charge there, but the impact grenade? Okay. Completely destroying this push, continuing to show their experience here. Uh, U of M Flint uh, just having Highland completely stagnate here. Lion rings out. Sado. Uh, maybe actually moving a little bit during the gadget just to bait out that peak. Try hiding now. Ready. You'll have Flint just waiting for the enemy push here. 50 seconds on the clock. Oh, Sado. It's a fuse charge landing right on his lap there for a split second. Ryda with a kill. Sato following up. Sato, and she left me pretty close to a... Uh, Enemy operator here. Not entirely sure where he is. And ball me with the kill. And Ryda with another one.
U of M Flint reaching round six here. Five and zero to Highland. I don't know what to say. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. What? Okay. Um, U, U of M Flint going to be choosing reception. Reception slash, uh, what is that even called? Archives. Reception and archives, I believe. Uh, this is a really interesting site. Um, mainly because of the double defense here that they're going to have to play. Not really the greatest uh, angle to defend from, but Highland, I think U of M, okay, you know what? I think U of M Flynn is going for a little bit of BM here. Uh, already 5-0, Highland not showing too much promise at this current moment, but I think um, with that Montagne and then uh, the... I, oh, actually, I thought they were going to bring the Blitz out. Um, instead, the Jackal. Sonic Iron already going to be pushing in. Where is U of M Flint? Oh. I see. Okay, the vertical defense, of course. And right and Balmy. I don't know how they're going to be expecting Highland. Um, seeing as the way they're going to be pushing up is... Definitely going to be very site oriented. We'll see what happens. Iron already on point, getting that Montan shield out. Ryda swinging. Balmy watching window. Give them flint. Just completely zoning Highland off. I mean, Stonic Iron getting tagged a little bit. Varhastra as well. Uh, the plant? Throwing smoke grenade. Attackers are activating the plant. You left me getting tagged. I think you have them flint. Okay, Sato. Finds the kill. Dato with the defuse. Uh, what? Bomb defusing attempt failed. Defenders win. I don't even know what to say. I don't know why I'm casting this game. It's, uh,. This is t this is tough to watch. I mean, Island really trying their best here. Did get that diffuser in really quick, but Montagne just getting just outplayed there really quickly, punched and just moved right around that shotgun straight into the back. Not going to survive that. And now Highland has their chance at defense. You have Flint currently devising ways to BM. And uh yeah, I don't I just I mean I feel like this this match is certainly not being really taken seriously, uh, but it's I guess okay because they're winning. But um, at the same time Highland can try and take advantage of this, but we'll see. I mean the rook comes out, but it's not quite the competitive option um oh my goodness gracious you have a flint with the SWAT team approach here
I think everyone here has chosen a a shotgun. What is happening? I don't know if you guys can hear these comms, but it is kind of bonkers. Ryda already with another kill. Sato leading the charge with the blitz here. Ryda just punching in here. Oh, goodness gracious. This is the least competitive thing I've seen us do here. Sato with a quick one, two. Bomi? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bomi with the nade. Sato <laughs> still getting the kill. What is going on here? Sato falls 2v2. Balmy sees a glimpse. Oh, the shots ringing through 2v1. Down to Zat. Stonic Iron and Accenture still alive here. 20 seconds on the clock. You have Flint's BM play. Coming right back at him. You have him Flint. Gives Highland around there after Balmy with with the sickest nade of his life. I think I I thought we had learned to not give Balmy frag grenades. I was pretty sure we had all agreed to never give Balmy a fragmentation grenade, but um, I guess that's how these things happen, I guess. Island does take that round. Um, but you have him Flint looking at that same angle. So this will be interesting. You see the cap cans come out. A little bit more of a competitive setup here. Vahastra does, in fact, take that Rook once again. Um, but, of course, if Yuvan Flint just lands these headshots, the Rook is really no problem. Um, sometimes I do wonder the actual use of this operator um, at all. But it is what it is. The scoreboard will tell all here as Yuvan Flint begins to insert. Ryda coming in, ripping fast. Round those corners very quickly here. I mean, Ash, super high movement speed. Ryda's just looking for blood. Quick clear does take a little glimpse for the cap can there. Uh, the Ying, the Ying diffuser plant there. Nades landing and the diffuser going down, continuing to throw these flashes. Sato getting one, Rydal with two, and it's a complete massacre. Goodness gracious. Well, that was uh, a match. See the Thatcher ban. Warden from uh, Highland there. Soulless and Twitch ban from Yovan Flint. But here we are. Kicking off on Skyscraper. You have Flint on attacking side. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Rook comes out again. Varhastra actually going for the dock here. Yuvam Flint going to be facing Highland's uh, kind of comp that's really almost sustain heavy. Just trying to stay alive as long as possible. 
um, trying to stay in engagements uh, for much more time uh, due to U of M Flint's just absolute pushing power. Um, cut up Cookie taking that uh, cap can going to try and slow things down. And uh, of course the bandit on those barbed wires going to really try and just give U of M Flint uh, some pause here. Uh, um, uh, I'd like to direct our attention to Ryda. Ryda just taking down Cut Up Cookie. He's, he's just, he's looking for it. It's, it's, it's absolutely terrifying. He's moving in. There's no stopping this unmovable object that is Ryda. Pushing on to B-Site, running straight through the cap cans, swinging that bandit going to be moving over here he left me from down under and Ryda continuing to look trying to to get an angle on this a site that getting taken down there 3v4 as you of them flint starts to get leveled here Sonic Iron trying to return fire. She left me with the kill. Sato moving. Swinging A site here. Shooting right above our Astra, it seems like. Chopped up. With the shots through, down to a 2v2 here. Swapping mags. Bit of swinging onto B site. Just moving in with no regard for the enemy team. 30 seconds on the clock. Yeah, Yulvan Flint does get that diffuser down. The Claymore coming down. Oh, goodness gracious. Imagine this match ending off of these Claymores. It's an idea. Thado actually sitting in the Bandit. That's unfortunate, but Valhastra does get taken down. 20 seconds left on the clock. And Sado taking down Chopped Up Cookie for the clutch. And here we are. Round two. You have Flint starting off. Very, very, Attackers need to locate and very quickly. Bombs as they can. Looking at a very similar setup this time, um, if not the exact same setup. Um, Highland, of course, probably sticking with that. They do have much more kills um, this time around than their last first round, which ended up with, uh, I believe, Varhastra having that singular kill this time. Uh, multiplied it by, by four there. So very nice. Very nice. Definitely starting off this match much better here this this map going much better for highland uh however u of m flint still does take that first round so will be interesting to see how the rest of this match goes sato of course with the claymore on that run out 
angle there. Ryda pushing in with the Yana. Oh. Ow. Okay. Uh, Zenture. Completely erased from down under. And we have Ryda peeking stairs here. Cut of Cookie does take out. She left me. Balmy, I believe, catching one out. Still some more shots landing. And I think the cap can. Down, but Balmy just not getting the shots to connect. One final time there. Oh, Balmy's arrow, though. Does land. Sato getting the kill on Doc there and Ryda with the finish. One, then two for Ryda ending the round. Round three begins. bombs as they can. Chopped up cookie. Going to look at something here. Cut up cookie. Ooh, wow. You know, I didn't. <laughs> up until now, I didn't know that they were this. Yeah, that they were different people. Cut up cookie and chopped up cookie are in fact different people. If we Five didn't know, cut up cookie board. putting up these castles. Uh, see, because I looked at cut up cookie and was like, oh, that's castle. But I looked at chopped up cookie and he's actually smoked. So I was very confused. Very, very confused. Balmy does take a little bit of damage. Already getting some shots and finding Cut Up Cookie. Another one peeking him on stairs there. No shots connect on Balmy as he is down to about 60 health here. Potato just giving Chopped Up Cookie an infinite amount of time there. Shots ringing out. Ryda with the fuse from on top. She left me taking a little bit of damage. Balmy falls. Pero doing a little bit of damage to Accenture, I believe. Right up blowing the charge from on high. Down to a 3v3 here. And Stonic. With the peak on Sato. He left me ready with it. Right a dropping. Catching Xenture. Lack in there. Ryda with one, v Vahastra does get the kill.
15 seconds left. Found a stonic. Ten seconds to go. Seven seconds. And she left me finding stonic. Little sweaty there. Only slightly. Down to that 1v1. U of M Flint 3 and 0. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Bomb located by attackers. Not seeing too much of a change actually uh Highland does in fact take the uh, Valkyrie here, which is, you know, I, I don't think they're lacking on intel particularly, but maybe that is um, a symptom of what's going on here. So maybe uh, if Highland is going to be able to find U of M Flint's uh, entry points a lot easier, Five seconds to go. maybe they'll be able to counterplay him. Try to get dangerous, but nothing is new. Reloading. Using that drone, just checking these entry angles. Reloading ammo. Does see the cap can. And tries to swing him. Cut up cookie. Ready for him. Island does have that pick. I mean, if they try and trade this out. Might go really well. Stonic trying to shoot that uh, uh that drone down, but two of them Flint just getting that fire in. That almost getting completely caught out there. Two of them Flint seeming a little unfocused after those rounds. She left me though. Taking Varhasra out, finding almost another. Head moving slightly, but just getting cross-fired. Two V three and Highland taking these trades nicely. Venture getting down there. Oh, and the kill. Here comes the plant. Can Stonic and Zencher make it in time? Don't know if they hear the plant. Zencher with the shots through. Almost tagging Balmy. Oh, and Balmy with the 1v2. <laughs> that was even sweatier than that last round. You have him Flint really just dropping the ball at that last second, but then picking it right up just as you thought Highland was going to swing right back. Thorn picked once again here. You have them Flint already 4 0, Highland needing to respond. Bomb located 
by attackers. Ten seconds to go. They're going to do first floor. Five seconds left. Going to be a uh, little interesting here. Attackers are As U of M Flint, I mean, plenty of vertical gameplay. They blow that entire top side open. Um, Highland has practically nowhere to hide here. Don't know why they didn't do that last round, but I think U of M Flint very comfortable with uh, challenging the gunplay, um, seeing as Highland doesn't necessarily have that same mechanical prowess that U of M Flint is clearly showing. Oh, but as I say that, Zencher actually takes that out. Um, not even tagged there. Oh, and Ryda with the swing. Stonic falls. Almost gets caught out by the dock, I believe. Unless that was the mute crawling right at him. No, that was uh, Rook, actually. Same operator outfit, but not quite. Follow me with the suppressive fire, but just get pre-fired by Cut Up Cookie. Cut Up Cookie with two, but does get down. Fado with one. 2v4, but down to a 3v2 very quickly here. Sato with the drone here. You have them Flint slowing down after a Highland kind of amped up that tempo. Fado catching one. Sado super close there. Oh, and she left me predicting the swing. Why are we ending up in 1v1 practically every time? It's like U of M Flint is doing this on purpose. Goodness gracious. And they seriously don't have to. I mean, I don't... I don't see the point. I mean, U of M Flint maybe just getting a little confident and then having to slow the game down back to... Back to where they're used to playing it, but certainly, certainly very interesting uh, from Highland. Seeing a lot of, um, I mean, really, really good gunplay from them. Finally, being able to see what Highland can actually do a little bit. Um, but you have them Flint, still holding strong, five and zero. Oh. Very dominant game for you of them. Of course, we are going to see the same defense here. Uh, Highland, I mean, obviously continuing to land. I mean, I think it's been three rounds in a row uh, ending up in like a 1v1 there. So, I mean, Highland trying to find maybe maybe end up in the same situation, maybe a better one um, and actually be able to capitalize on these trades that they're making, those picks that they get right from the start. Sato, very close here. Already looking to swing. Good 
We have ball me above. And Zat actually finding one. The Dekaibe popping off here as U of M Flint continues to push in. Ball me with one. 5v3 here. Round is for match point. Oh, and Zat just gets punished there. Sonic watching for Ryda. Ryda with the swing. Valhastra not getting the kill. Ryda with two. Down to a 4v1 for match point. Venture taking out Balmy. Just looking to clear the second floor before they start moving down, hoping not to get flanked, just wanting to worry about singular enemies here, tagging them up. Zetra hops over. You'll have them Flint hears. And Sato swinging around with the singular shot to the dome. Yovan Flint finally on defense here. Match point, though. And we do see the dock come out from Ryda here. As many bombs as they can. Bomb located by attackers. And it's going to be the same bomb site once again. How apt. Super exciting. My favorite bomb site on Skyscraper. Um, because it's so fun to watch. <laughs> I mean, genuinely. I mean, this is this first floor. Lots of gunplay uh, available. I mean, just that 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 main entrance. Uh, Five seconds to insertion. A big problem. So many different angles you're able to defend it from. Um, on, through a site, and not only that. I mean. Even we don't see a mirror ban here. A mirror would be super, super um, advantageous on that kind of main entrance just for the info alone. Um, but we, I don't think, need the information at the current moment. You have him Flint just really relying on the gunplay. Tato hears the shots ring out. Waiting to punish anyone who's way too eager to jump through that window. Yeah, you gotta drone that one out. That's unfortunate there. Ryda does jump out and gets caught. Let's take one, so it's a 4v3 here. You have influence still maintaining that one person lead she left me swinging out trying again but a cookie getting cut up by balmy oh and balmy i think landing one of those uh slug shots on top of He's at looking for the run out as well. Loading new magazine. Reloading. Okay. Ball me swinging down. Don't flint bloodthirsty. On match point. Reloading. Two kills and the series is over. 60 seconds on the clock. Uh, 
Tornado covering this window. Highland just not pushing in here. Uh, completely held back. As Chopped held all the way back into spawn. And Zencher finally pushing in here. Looking to swing that bar. Just walking out, not checking these corners. Looking to punish U of M Flint for pushing up. Venture gonna swing. Balmy falls. Oh, and she left me with the outside kill. Unfortunate. Flawless victory from U of M Flint. And the series, just like that, is over.